Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we're going to be talking about the new version of BlueStacks Pi 64-bit. Uh, we're also going to be talking about Moo Moo Player and some things you can do if you are encountering BlueStacks problems. Let's go ahead and dig in. So there are lots of issues with BlueStacks right now. Uh, lots of people are struggling. It's crashing quite frequently. And uh, there was recently a Reddit thread, uh, probably yesterday, uh, where we were talking about the emulator Moo Moo Player, and we were trying to get Moo Moo Player uh, to work. And, you know, some people had great success. I did not have great success with it. Uh, but one of the other people on that thread, or actually a couple of them, uh, suggested to look into the Pi version of BlueStack. So I did look into it, and it's actually what you're seeing War of the Visions playing on right now. Not only do you are you playing in higher FPS, uh, but it's also remarkably more stable. And not everybody is going to be able to utilize this. Not everybody's going to be able to use the Pi version of the game. Uh, you know, in that case, maybe Moo Moo Player is going to be better for you if you play the Google Play Store version of the game. Uh, but the Pi version basically runs, my understanding, is a higher version of the Android framework. Uh, and so it's going to be able to play the game significantly smoother. Uh, and as long as you have BlueStacks 5 downloaded, you can create a Pi 64-bit instance. However, you are going to be restricted on your OS and a couple of other things that are going on. So you may have to disable your Hyper-V, you may have to disable something else in your Windows system in order to get it to work, and it will not work for everybody. Uh, I've tested this out, a couple other players I know have tested this out. Uh, Giants tested this out. Uh, and while this works really great for me, doesn't work amazing for Giant. Um, I would say currently right now, of the people that I've had tested, about 75% of us have had really good success with this. Uh, and I think that's good enough for me to make a video about and talk about with the community. So uh, how you do it is you just create a fresh instance on your BlueStacks uh, 5. And you just go down here to Pi 64-bit beta. And uh, you will be able to do this. Uh, some advantages that this version has, which I was not expecting, is the higher than normal frame rate. Uh, previously, you had to use like gimmicks and tricks to get the frame rate to go higher in War of the Visions. And actually, it's just playing War of the Visions at a high frame rate out the get-go. Like, all you have to do is change it to high frame rate mode and move the frame rate slider up, and you're literally going to get this crisp, smooth gameplay that's actually going on in the background right now. Uh, so if you're a streamer out there, um, if you're someone who records footage for War of the Visions, if you just want to play War of the Visions and have a really good experience, uh, this is going to be the best way to go for you. If you can make this version work for you, um, it's stable, it doesn't crash. I've been able to auto farm trust runes all day. Uh, I've tried to make this video like five times now and the game hasn't crashed in the background at all. Um, in terms of settings, you can see previously because of the memory leak, I would have to allocate significantly more memory to BlueStacks than uh, four gigabytes, but I can just leave it at four gigabytes now. I can leave it at quad core. I can set it to high performance. I have the frame rate modified up uh, and I'm actually running it at max DPI and max resolution, uh, which is something you really, you could do before on the old BlueStacks, but it would likely crash faster if you ran it at higher uh, resolution and higher DPI. Uh, so that's what's making it look so good. I haven't had any problems with OpenGL or DirectX because usually depending on what you're doing in War of the Visions, you'd have to jump around or adjust what you're doing uh, depending on, you know, like the summon screen. Oh my God, if you had the wrong box checked for the summon screen, like you're going to be waiting there for like 20 seconds in between each summon. So no problems, remarkably smooth gameplay. If you're out there, if you have BlueStacks 5, give this a try. Uh, this is, again, not everybody's going to be able to do this, and that's okay. The majority of people that can, give this a try. I guarantee you it's going to be one of the best emulated decisions you've made out there. Uh, if you are someone who plays on Google Play Store, uh, give Moo Moo Player a try. As much as I hate that you play on Google Play Store and are not supporting content creators through the Amazon App Store, if you play on the Google Play Store, give Moo Moo Player a try uh, because it will actually probably work really nice for you uh, and it may work better than this BlueStacks version. Uh, and again, I've tested the Amazon App Store version on the Moo Moo Player and I've had difficulty with it. I only tried it in the beta. So if any of you guys have experience with the non-beta in the Amazon App Store version of the game, I would love to hear it. 
Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helps some of you out there. If you have success, please spread the word. Uh, you know, spread this video to people in your Discord. Spread, you know, because one of the fastest ways to get players to not play this game is to have the emulator not work. And this is something we've seen, you know, time on, time off again. You know, people are quitting the game because of trust stones. Let's just make it easy for people. Like, trust stones suck. But if we have a good emulator, it just sucks less, right? Uh, so thanks so much, everybody, and uh, have a great rest of your day.